In this video, we're going to learn about Python exception handling. An exception is an event that disrupts the normal flow of your Python program. Some examples are, let's say you're running your Python program and you get an error on the console that says key error, and that's raised when a key is not found in a dictionary. Or you might get an index error, which is raised when you try to access an element outside the range of the list, like if the list contained five items and you tried to access the sixth or seventh item, it's not in the list, you'll get an index error printed to your screen. And when this happens, your program crashes and it doesn't execute any more statements that follow in your program. So by using exception handling, it is an error checking code in your program that looks for this special type of circumstance and it prevents your program from crashing and it just lets your program continue normally. Exception handling is done with try except blocks of code. So there's a block of code that says try and that's the code where something could go wrong. So somewhere in that try block of code you'll have let's say code that'll access like a, a list or dictionary for example and if something goes wrong the accept block of code will catch that exception and runs whatever code you needed to run to handle the exception when it does happen. So let's check out an example of exception handling in Python. In this Python program, we have a prompt that asks you, how old are you? And the user is supposed to enter in their age and it's supposed to be an integer because we're wrapping that input and converting it to an integer. Assuming that the user entered a, a valid number that could be converted to an integer. Then we print out you are age years old. Let's try this out. If I type in that I'm five, it prints out you are five years old. Okay, great. What if that five-year-old types five like this, F-I-V-E, because that five-year-old knows how to spell. Guess what? you get an exception thrown in your program and your program stops running. And to show you that your program stopped running, let's print out end of program. Run the program again, IVE, and it doesn't print out end of program at the bottom of the console. So we need to add exception handling around our code. So the code where something could go wrong is right here, this line of code right here where the user typed in a string and it couldn't get converted to an integer with the integer function. So let's try to do this. And if it succeeds, we'll print out the age. But if there's an error, we'll have the accept block and we'll print out instead, you can only enter integers for the age. Good enough. If we run the program now, if we type in five, it prints your five years old, end of program. So far, so good. Run the program again. If we type F-I-V-E for the age. That's not gonna be able to get converted to an integer, so it should skip the next line of code, and not print out how old you are, and then go straight to this line of code. And then it should only print out, you can only enter integers for the age. So let's try this out. And press enter and notice that it didn't print out that you're five years old it, it printed out you can only enter integers for the age and then the program ends and notice that your program did not crash this time because of the exception handling that you have so rather than crashing right here on this line of code it rerouted it to this accept block and then continued with the rest of the program where it printed out end of program